as Jan has introduced animals, I thought I might continue the theme. So we have a certain amount of changing coming up. This was one of my Christmas poems quite a few years ago. Song of the sentimental cow, the cynical sheep, and the stubborn donkey. When I drop a calf, I bellow loud and long, spreading the message far and near that new life has begun. This human heifer groaned to bring a world to birth, offered no rasping tongue to clean the child, but wrapped him up in strips of cloth and held him close. My udder quivered with delight to sing, see him drink so deep of human milk. I couldn't sleep that night. Strange sounds were drifting from the hills to echo in my ears and make me think that I could hear the music of the spheres. And pregnant stars, trembling with light, grew clearer still until the sky was bright as day. Mmm. Moo, moo, moonlight outshone by starlight. Can't see. <laughs> what sort of birthday present is this? My former masters shuffled in with steamy breath and muddy boots, bringing their gift a lamb, torn from the teat and comforting warm wool to be the shepherd's sacrificial gift to satisfy their whim. They clearly didn't stop to think who'd feed this little one or what sort of human child would want this offering. A feeble lamb, untimely born, now motherless. Bah! Bah! Barmy idea, if you ask me. Eyes firmly shut. I twitch one ear and hear a human infant's cry. I will not look for fear they'll make me rise and bear another load. My knees still ache from the long journey, will not bend because... Although my contract was to carry a mere girl, and being a gentle, well-bred donkey, I should not complain, she bore a child who seemed to carry with him the world's great weight of pain. Although my master has a tender touch, eeyaw, eeyaw, he always makes me carry far too much. <laughs> 